Being a black uh, cheerleader in the NFL, I want to talk about just like what was that like in general being able to be in the NFL as a, a African American cheerleader. I feel like, as of a lot of things in Washington D.C., like black NFL cheerleaders or just black professional dancers and prominent women wasn't abnormal. In fact, like when I was on Redskins, it was like about I think we did the math. It averaged about like sixty-seven percent black cheerleaders. Like there were more black cheerleaders than non-black cheerleaders on the Redskins, which was very, and commanders, I need to stop saying Redskins, which is nah, very, No, they're the like, Redskins. That's no, like, no, they're no, the no. Redskins. I, don't, I mean, I'm not passionate about the name. Actually, <laughs> I, I was encouraging for the name change. I was surprised, but I was team name change. But um, a lot of teams back then, uh, it's changed now, but a lot of teams in the NFL were not like that. But we were so loved because we were a very, like, the Chocolate City Girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so I, I mean, I never felt like that was unachievable. You know what I mean? I looked up to that, and I knew that I could be a Redskins cheerleader, which is a privilege. All right, that's super dope, right? Being able to come in, you're, you know, you're saying, obviously, there's a bunch of African-American women on the team. But you did something that not a lot of women were able to do. You actually made it to the Pro Bowl mm -hmm. uh, as a cheerleader. A you got a ring. I do. Of course I oh, shit. Ring. I didn't know they give you rings for the they Pro Bowl. They do. It's not clean, so don't judge. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, it's like the Florida the Florida flower, right? I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, I think it is because it was in Orlando back then. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so, dope. How was the Pro Bowl? What was that experience like? Actually, funny story, that was the shittiest game of my life. <laughs> like, it was raining the entire time. But that was just the actual game. I didn't care um, about the actual game, per se, because the honor was so, like you said, and I'm flattered, like, so monumental. If you do the math, there's only a certain amount of girls, uh, dancers, sorry. There's only a certain amount of dancers that get chosen to be even, like, Division One dancers, which, God, thank you, I had the chance. Even from that pool, there's only a certain amount of dancers that can then go to the league. I mean, and I'm sure you can relate to this. Yeah. Those numbers are really small. In fact, like, the teams average about 30 women. So 30 times – how many teams 32 are there in the teams. Yeah. <laughs> so there's not exactly. a lot of women in the world that can even, like, get in the boots. Right. And then I'm not sure if you're familiar. You probably are because he has done so much research <laughs> that – only one cheerleader per team gets sent to the Pro Bowl every year. Yeah. And it's not impossible, but you typically do not go ever again. So it's a one-stop shot, but you only choose one, th the girl, the girl of the year, to go from 30 women of each NFL team. So, like, even those chances are smaller. So, I don't know. Even I think about it, and I'd be like, oh, my God, that's so crazy that so many people thought so highly of me to be at the same level of athletes like Tom Brady.